Oh no, Trixie, I was loving Christmas and you ruined it. <laughs> Trixie, I was trying to love Christmas. She's <laughs> Trixie. Trixie, stop. Trixie, stop. Stop it. Trixie, stop. Trying to a phone. <laughs> hey folks, Lester here. Um, and I'm a little bit embarrassed to talk about what's going on today. Um, but, you know, I... Hey, you don't know what you don't know. I learned that little saying from my friend Rick. Uh, Think like a horse, Rick. He says, Lester, you know, you don't know what you don't know. And so I don't know what I don't know. And there's a little bit of a problem here at Longhorn Lester that I've run into because I don't know what I don't know. I'm going to turn the camera around and kind of show you what I'm working on. And remember, I don't know what I don't know. You can't blame me for that. Carl and Debbie are eating ice. They are eating ice, my friends, from their water trough. I had to break the ice so they can drink. And instead of drinking, they'd rather walk around and fight over that ice, that chunk of ice she just swallowed. Carl, you could hurt yourself that way, love. That might... I guess she knows what she's doing. I guess ice is still... Baby, that didn't hurt. That didn't hurt going down. No, she's fine. Carl's like, you just feed us because we're hungry. We're so hungry eating ice. Someone save us. We're so hungry we're having to eat ice. I brought food. Now, if you'll back up so I can have your food trough and don't spit at me. Don't, just give me the trough, Carl. Carl, you had some green here. All right, it was too small to eat. Carl wants fresh food. Fresh food you'll get, Carl. I want to show you what I did this morning. So I came out with the lawnmower. And even though the grass was not growing, I did drive over all the leaves and mulch them up good. Yeah, I got a doggy toy accidentally. It was buried in the leaves. But uh, I pushed all the leaves with my mower into a pile over there along its pine, uh, that one oak tree. Another pile over here. I'll tell y'all something crazy. <clears throat> that uh, at I'm a Survivor, there are no oak trees. So all of our trees there or evergreens, pines. And so one thing we've never had to do is rake leaves. And so what a shock that over here we have all these trees that are shading these leaves and I'm watching the leaves blow all around the yard, all into the shop, all across the little patio over here. Uh, they get stuck into the fences and it's like, wow. It's a, it is a, at least a once a week job to rake up the yard good. And so I've learned to get my mower out and just blow them around mulch them all up and push them into a pile like that over there. But uh, you can see that the cold weather got Jamie's garden. I mean, it's it's done. And then I'm also upset about what happened over here. This may have been my own fault. Well, looky here at the wisteria. We lost the wisteria. It's gone. It needs to be cut back now. I guess probably all to the ground. But then also, I don't know if these are hibiscus. Babe, are these hibiscus? Uh, azalea. Azalea. Jamie said azaleas. But, um, man. Now, listen, guys. We weren't here during the cold spell last year. It never got, well, actually, we never had a hard freeze last year. We never had a hard freeze last winter. And uh, so, this is what <laughs> they look like now after... The hard freeze, everything's dying. So I'll come in and I'll cut all of these back as well. I was reading online. I don't know what I'm doing here, okay? I'm not a plant person, my friends. But uh, they were so pretty. The way Mr. Dub, Miss Sharon had them, they were just gorgeous. And now they're all died and we're dying. So I'm gonna come by and cut them all back and hope that they'll come back pretty in the spring because they actually look real pretty kind of lining the uh, the ledge here. We lost all of these two. I just can't imagine that anyone could cover them during cold weather, there's a lot to cover. So this may just be something that happens every... Hey, I'm trying to make a video. Do you mind? Seriously. 
trying to make me a video, and I can't do it when the cats are running around fighting stuff. I know, you're a good kitty. They serve a really neat purpose here, y'all. They serve a really neat purpose here. But, uh, yeah, I got my work cut out for me. And uh, today's a gorgeous day to get started. Well, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Um, I can't think of a... Well, I would like to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. It was a... <laughs> Cats. Here comes a third one. They're playing on the side of the little cliff here. I don't like that. I don't know if I can do anything to stop it. Because they just kind of like do their thing. If they were kids, I'd say, hey, you don't play on the ledge. Get off, you move away from the ledge. But they're cats. I don't think that they're going to listen to me anyway. <laughs> okay. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me for a little bit. And uh, keep Tina in your prayers. But I tell you what, from the start of today's video till the end of the video, I feel a whole lot better about her. And uh, so y'all keep bringing your thoughts and your prayers, and we're going to see if we can figure it all out. But I'm happy to see that she's with the uh, the flock again. Do you call it a flock? I don't guess I'm, he's going to answer me. But uh, thank y'all. I look forward to reading your comments, and y'all have a y'all have a good one. We'll see you next God, video. There's another one. These cats are everywhere. They are everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Fireball. He's the one I've always called our best hunter because he's the one that brings back all kinds of stuff for me to look at. Lizards, frogs, little snakes, birds, you name it. Every morning I wake up and I find something new that he's brought. Chrissy! Come on, sweetie! There's our beautiful girl, baby. Hey, hey, come love. We're making a video. People would love to see you. People would love to, baby, where are you going? People would love to see you. Go tell her. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous of her. Go get her. Go get her. What? Trixie's just jealous. Trixie, love daddy. Uh, I don't have any love over here, Trixie. <laughs> Trixie, I have no love over here. We got a, we got a big old booty. Trixie. Right Christmas's face. Trixie, I need some loving. Christmas. Someone come love daddy, please. Boy, thank you. <laughs> Chrissy, what about me? Chrissy, please come to me. Oh. She chose Jamie. At least I got Trixie. At least I got somebody in my life. <laughs> there we go. See? See? It's okay. Oh, she don't know about this, these men. Oh, boy. There we go. Let me have it. Let me have it. Trixie, let me have it. Good girl. Here we go. <clears throat> Ready? Over there. Oh, no. You didn't see it? Looks over here. Here's your toy. Trixie. Trixie. Good girl. Wow. Oh, no. Trixie, I was loving Christmas, and then you ruined it. <laughs> Trixie, I was trying to love Christmas. She's... Oh. Trixie. Trixie, stop. Trixie, stop. Stop it. Trixie, stop. I'm trying to turn a phone. <laughs>